Nestled between these shelves was a history lesson that may not often be taught in classrooms throughout Frisco ISD. This annual holiday luncheon brought seniors back to middle school. Staley Middle School, that is. They're back in school. And these seniors have degrees of knowledge, leadership, and namesake within their class. I used to be the mayor here, and I graduated from Frisco High School in uh, 1938. So I'm glad to, glad to be here with a bunch of friends. Frisco's former mayor, Bob Warren, yes, of which the street Warren Parkway is named, thought he was the elder statesman in the building, nearing 93 years young. He served as the mayor of Frisco from 1989 to 1996. Yeah, I'm probably the oldest one here. However, also present and ranking first was 97-year-old William Hudson. Hudson served as superintendent of Frisco schools from 1972 to 1978 and traveled from Wichita Falls for the occasion. My dad said, uh, I'm an only child, and he called me and said, baby, can you take me to Frisco for the luncheon? And I said, of course, and he's had a wonderful time. Former Frisco ISD Superintendent Justin Wakeland, yes, for which Wakeland High School is named, is founder of the annual Senior Citizen Luncheon. And he shared moments with his predecessor, which symbolized a meeting of the minds. Current Frisco ISD Superintendent Jeremy Lyon joined the mindset as well. There are many, many of the people in this room today that did that heavy lifting that have created what we see and what we enjoy today. And I just want you to know how grateful we are, the honor that we have to you for that hard work that you've done. The Mooneyhams were in the schoolhouse, and so was Billy Vandeventer, along with other dignitaries, whose names or family names graced the front of buildings throughout Frisco ISD. Waiting in line for the traditional meal of turkey and dressing, while middle school students served drinks with a smile, was a doctoral lesson in education. The thesis is clear. This luncheon is about much more than food and performances. Putting the names with the faces with the buildings was a real treat, and hearing the stories with laughter and remembrance of those who have passed on, whose memories and or buildings stand strong, was heartwarming. It's all in the name of education, continuing traditions, reminding us of how far we've come, remembering those who've got us to where we are. Well, I people came, walkers. <laughs> so while these steps may be slower, they've helped us continue on a fast track of growth and innovation in the district we call Frisco ISD. Let's not forget that. I'm Eva Coleman for Frisco ISD TV.